This is WENY HD News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Malillo. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Well, it was one year ago today that Superstorm Sandy slammed into the eastern seaboard, blasting lives of millions of people. And Sandy left neighborhoods barren, washing beaches into homes and homes onto the ocean. Now, one year after Superstorm Sandy's fury along the east coast, signs of recovery. Ellis Island left in the dark for months after Sandy reopened its museum. Manhattan's South Street Seaport is back open for business after the storm shut down 85% of the businesses. And on Long Beach, New York, there is a new 2.2 mile boardwalk made of hardwood and concrete. It's supposed to withstand the next storm. We've made great progress over the past year, but that means absolutely nothing if you're one of the people who's not back in their home. Sandy caused $65 billion in property damage. Only a portion of the $50 billion in federal aid money has been tapped into, and at least 181 people were killed in the United States. Today, through vigils and memorials, residents will remember Sandy victims. All right, well, now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast. John. Well, it's one of those days that's going to start off with some cloud cover, but we'll see more in the way of sunshine as we go in towards your afternoon. So if you're looking for some treats, today's probably it. Unfortunately, as we get closer to Halloween, more in the way of tricks as we'll start to see warm temperatures, which will be nice, but we'll start to see increased uh, amounts of chances for rain, particularly Thursday morning, it's looking like. And then perhaps again for Thursday night and Friday, we're going to have to work out the timing on that. And the weekend, not featuring a lot of treats either. It looks like we'll be a little bit unsettled. So your future track forecast for today, we started off with a little deck of cloud that set up right over the heart of the Twin Tiers. Kept us a little warm last night, but across the Southern Finger Lakes, not so. Pretty chilly there. Temperatures 20s, but mainly you're waking up in the 30s across most of our viewing area. Going in towards this afternoon, though, everyone breaks out into that sunshine. Canadian high pressure sinks to the south, brings the dry air in. It's going to be a nice day. It'll be cool, but you can still get outside and enjoy that. Just throw on the sweater. Tonight will be fairly cool to start. We'll see the temperatures start to tick, 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 tick down. They're going to get kind of caught up as we'll see some thickening cloud cover arriving from the west with a quick moving weather system. Another chance at a very light shower tomorrow. That's all we're calling for. About a 10% chance you get one tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, it's just a mostly cloudy day. Then all eyes will turn back to the west on Thursday. We'll watch this approaching warm front, which will give us the chance for showers. And of course, Thursday being Halloween, big time forecast there. Here's your first warning seven day. Keep it a little unsettled going into your weekend. Looks like the drier of the two weekend days ends up being Sunday. But don't forget, Saturday night, wind those clocks back an hour in anticipation of that old fall back daylight saving time. That's your forecast. Here's Joe. All right, thanks very much, Sean. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Joe Malillo. Have a great day, everyone.